Today I will be teaching as to how to analyze the multiple response answer. Here I have a data which shows how many respondents can speak different languages like English, German, French, Latin. So here one refers to those who can speak in English and zero refers to those who can't speak in English. Here in gender, I have got male, one as male and two as female. So even before analyzing, it is essential to define the set. So to define the set, move on towards analyze, go on towards multiple response, you have to define the set. Only when you define the variable set, the frequency and cross tap will get activated. So here I am defining the variable set. So all the languages spoken is selected with the help of shift key and I am placing it in variables in set. So here the counted value I am taking it as 1. I want to know how many can speak in English. German, French and Latin. Later I am giving a name as language and I am adding it over here so the set has been defined and I am closing and I am getting back to the data again analyze you have got multiple response set see frequency and cross tab as have been appeared so first we are moving on towards frequency. So I have got only a group of people where I have not classified into gender. So I just want to know the count. In that case we can use frequency. So the language I have to click towards the table for and then clicking OK. So here 26% of the respondents can speak in English. 30% 0.4% can sp speak in French. So this is how you have to interpret the variables and here the n value is 90. There is no missing case. So this should be reported only when you don't have any group. This type of frequency. Suppose we have to analyze in a group format then getting back to analyze going back to the multiple response so i am clicking cross tabs so i am placing the languages language in the row gender in the column part if i don't define the range ok won't get activated so i have to define the range where minimum value assigned is 1 and the maximum value assigned is 2 and I have to click continue. So option as such you have to click for column percentage and percentage based on responses you have to click and then click continue. Later click OK. So you have got the answer over here, the n size is 90, so how many male and how many female can speak English and so on. So this is cross tab can be used when you have got two groups. Frequency can be used when you have got one group. The same interpretation follows like the one which I did for frequency. Thank you for listening.